hey guys in this video let me share you the review of this xiaomi pocket power bank and it's a 10,000 mAh capacity and it's supported with 22.5 watts uh, uh, fast charging in this power bank this is the box inside the box you will only get the power bank and there is some user manuals and in the design and overview so it's a blue color variant and also there is a maroon color variant available so i have given the product link in the description you can check out so and in terms of overview on the front it's the here is a xiaomi branding and overall it's quite compact and at the back side you can see the 10,000 image of battery mentioned here and some of the uh, specs details are given so how much uh, volt and amps different uh, configuration supported for input and output you can check out here then the main highlight on this Xiaomi pocket power bank is that this inbuilt cable so this with the help of this cable it's really convenient when I use this power bank when compared to other power banks without the cable without the inbuilt cable because we don't need to remember every time whether we taken a separate cable or not when we are using the power bank only we taking the power bank we can anytime charge the device using this cable and we can also use the smartphone so by using the power bank at the back and, and we can easily use the smartphone and in this inbuilt type c cable you can use this cable for both input and output if you have your type c port output adapter means you can directly plug this cable to charge this power bank and also you can use this cable to charge any gadgets or smartphones so it's very convenient and apart from that there is a usb type a port and then usb type c port so totally in this uh, xiaomi pocket power bank it support uh, three uh, output ports one is this uh, usb type c cable inbuilt cable and then a type c port and then a type a output port and then a two input ports one is uh, this inbuilt type c cable and then a type c port and next in the power bank at the right side you can see this switch you have to just press single time then you can able to see the led indication here the, here is of totally four led indicators at what level the led light blinks so that is the image of the power bank so each light uh, denotes almost uh, 25 percentage of battery so which means totally four light equals to 100 percentage of battery if you see the third light is blinks means then it's a 75 percentage of battery available in the power bank and apart from that other charging indication means so during charging time every light will blinks one by one and once the charge is fully completed all the four lights will constantly glow it will not blink and also in this xiaomi pocket power bank there is a low power mode this mode is really suitable for you in case if you are charging any tws earbuds smartwatch or any other gadgets means you can turn on the low power mode so to turn on the low power mode in the switch you need to just double press now in the uh, led indicators you can able to see the lights will uh, blinks one by one in this four led indicator so like this so firstly the first light blink then the second led light indicator blink and third four like that one by one it will actually blinks if you see like this indication means then currently now the power bank in the low power mode so using this mode you can um, use this type c cable or any other ports to charge any low power devices like smart watches tws earbuds and other gadgets and to turn off the low power mode just a single press this switch then so now the low power mode has been turned off now you can able to see all indicators blink during the charging and next moving on to the charging time so you can use uh, these two ports whether the inbuilt type c cable or this type c port both supported with the 22.5 watts input and the brand is actually claims you can able to do the full charge in 3.5 hours and i actually use the different chargers like a realme charger oneplus charger so it actually charged in the standard level only so for me it actually takes 4.5 to 5 hours to complete the full charge so but if you want to charge in 3.5 to 4 hours means then you want to use the 22.5 watts it should be a 9 volt and 12 volt to support it because this power bank support 9 volt and 12 volt as the input and your adapter output should also match the same voltage voltage matching is very important and then the amps should be uh, for 9 volt it should be 2.5 amps or greater than 2.5 amps that is not an issue and and for 12 volt it should be 1.5 amps or 1.67 or 1.8 amps so that is not an issue mainly you need this configuration if you do not have this configuration means you can use any adapter also to charge this power bank but it actually charges in the uh, standard charging like 5 volt to 3 amps in 10 watts to 15 watts standard charging so during that time it actually takes 4.5 hours to 5 hours 
but if you use that 9 volt and a 12 volt uh, configuration then it actually charges in 3.5 to 4 hours and the next moving on to its output performance i checked in all these three ports firstly in the inbuilt type c cable so it supported with the both power delivery and the quick charge 3.0 charging protocol i charged this app to android devices the realme 12 pro and oneplus 12 r and also i charged iphones in the other ports for this usb inbuilt type c cable so the actual image it actually delivered is that 7500 to 8350 mh and the energy loss is around 16 percent to 25 percent and the charging time is 1.5 hours when i charge this oneplus 12 r it actually charged in 1.5 hours so it's the battery capacity is 5500 mh so similarly for this realme 12 pro it charged in 1.5 hours and its capacity is 5000 mh and moving on to the other ports for this type a port the type a port is actually delivers only 7000 to 7250 mh of battery only so the actual mh deliverable mh is 7250 maximum so the energy loss is 27.5 percentage and also the charging time is also very high in the usb type a port when compared to inbuilt type c cable i used the oneplus dollar default cable for this usb type a to type c so during that time it actually takes uh, 2 hours to uh, 2.5 sometimes to complete the oneplus 12 r fully and for realme 12 pro it actually takes 3 hours to complete the full charge when i use this usb type a port so the charging time is very high when i use the usb type a port and it's completely subjective so based on your device what cable you are using based on that the charging time will be uh, lesser or higher and uh, moving on to this usb type c port so this port actually delivers maximum 7640 mh for me and the energy loss is around 23.6 percentage so it also really good it delivers more than uh, 7500 mh and the fast charging is also good but compared to uh, inbuilt type c cable it's not that much good in fast charging and finally using this xiaomi pocket power bank i used to charge the iphones so completely only iphone i used the iphone 12 it actually charged the iphone 12 for 2.5 times which means for two times the iphone 12 is fully charged and on third time it only charged 49 percentage and when i charge the iphone the deliverable mh is 6050 mh based on my iphone 12 battery capacity and that uh, battery level and its approximate value only it's a uh, maximum delivered 6050 mh based on my iphone 12 battery level and the charging time is also very high it takes a 2.5 hours to complete 80 percentage and then maximum it takes four hours to complete 100 percentage because generally in the iphone after 80 percentage it, it charges very slowly only and especially more than 90 percentage it charges very slowly so it takes more than four hours to complete the full charge to up to 100 percentage when i use this power bank and the energy loss is almost 40 percentage so when i use this power bank to charge iphone the energy loss is high compared to other android devices well now that's it on this video guys now this is the review of this xiaomi pocket power bank 10,000 mah overall it's really good in battery management especially when you use this inbuilt type c cable it delivers 8,000 mah of battery so and the energy loss is very uh, 20 percentage only so the battery management is really good so this is also one of the best power bank under 2000 price segment so i have also given the link in the description Description. and if you are already using xiaomi pocket power bank means let me know your experience in the comment section below and that's it on this video guys and if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching this video guys